Tana Mojo has found herself in some more drama these last few weeks after having spilled some info on her canceled podcast. In one scenario, she's admitted to hate watching someone and someone feeling like they're the one she's talking about has spoken out. There's also a situation with Austin McBroom because he decided he wants to film content with Tana in a sneaky attempt to allegedly squash their beef. But if he's being serious about that is the real question and most people feel like they know the answer and that it would be the most unserious thing ever if these two were to get together, especially given how the snaps have been looking for him in the last couple of months or so. There's clearly a lot going on and it's quite a mess, but before we get into anything, I want to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Monopoly Go. Honestly, this is my latest bed rotting game whenever I'm laying down chilling and want to escape, this is it for me. This game is like a little journey from reality where everyone can feel like a millionaire. In this online resort, it's your rules and it's also just a fun nostalgic one as well. I love this game as a kid, so playing it on my phone is just that much better because there's no hassle of having to clean up any boards or find the little pieces. It's Monopoly like never before. Here you can dive into the real imagined world of Monopoly guided by everyone's favorite zillionaire, Mr. Monopoly. It's your very own millionaire experience, the ability to build cities, collect cards, and create your own empire. You are literally the architect of your millionaire resort. Monopoly Go supports both solo and group play. There's new opportunities every day in this game. You can participate in tournaments, the prize drop Plinko, mini games, cash grab, and can also stay updated with hourly events for exciting rewards. There's always new ways to play and win. Your adventures in the resort become even more exciting when you get to share it with others. So open the doors to your millionaire resort in Monopoly Go. Install the game right now by using the QR code or clicking the link in the description. Thank you to Monopoly Go for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into everything. Over the years, Tana Mojo has not been shy about her dislike of Austin McBroom. Tana has called him out for cheating on Catherine before, even having started a back and forth on Twitter at one point and making a TikTok to fully tell her story of believing she caught him cheating on Catherine. Brooke also exposed Austin not too long ago as she recently talked about how he was being shady when trying to hire a nanny for him and Catherine when they were together. He was like trying to hire a nanny for his kids. He mm -hmm. tried to hire like one of my friends as like a night nanny. Night nanny. But he was hiring a great Netflix he was movie title. via Snapchat. And uh, and the one requirement uh, is what when they came through they had to say that it was like she they were hired through an agency when talking to Catherine. So so like one of my friends went in to like actually interview for it. And so she had to say like yeah, they felt like Austin found me through an agency. But like really it was just like a hot girl he wanted around the house. Uh, Anyway, I hate him. And now it seems like Austin is trying to meet up with Tana and talk things out, but only for clout. Of course, because I mean, what else is Austin doing these days? As we've seen him desperately try to keep things going for himself by dressing up, acting ridiculous, lying about his living situation, asking people for money outside of the mall, pretending to ride the bus. I mean, the list of his recent attempts to get views is endless. There was even a video of him going around on TikTok where he was dressed up in a Target and getting kicked out for filming. I'm almost positive that's Austin McBroom if I'm not mistaken. Hey, hi Austin. <laughs> So in his attempt to rack in the views, it seems he's trying to recruit Tana to be part of whatever it is that he's got going on. Tana revealed on her podcast that he has made the attempt to contact her, which is interesting because as if Austin McBroom would actually come face to face with the things that he's been accused of by her. My guess is that he would have been in some sort of character if Tana really did decide to have a sit down conversation with him in the RV. But she said that he went through Harry Jousey to try and make this all happen. I get a call. I, oh, no. well, I wake up to like six missed calls from Harry Jowsey. And that's like always scary territory because I'm like, what did I do? What's <laughs> going on? What just it's never like, hey, want to get breakfast? Right. It's like something, you know, and I call him back. Austin McBroom calls Harry Jowsey mm -hmm. and he's like, I want to make amends with people that 
I've had beef with and people that hate me. And is he in like beef 12 step? I, yeah, I think he's <laughs> like, in beef 12 step. Like. And he was like, I just, I know Tana hates me and I really want to make amends with her and I want to Snapchat it. And I'm like, okay. Oh my God. And what? he wants to Snapchat yeah. it. That's immediate. You don't want to make amends with me and I'm not going to the RV. Tana admitted that a past version of her would have said yes to something like this, but that she is not about to do this right now. Me a year ago would have done it. I would have uh -huh. been in the RV and, and I'm just not even going to lie, you know? And it's like, I can't, I'm still like, should I do it? Should I make content with Austin McBroom? Jeff was telling me like, absolutely not. Cause it's like, you hate him and it's going to look like this like collab. And it's like, I don't know. I kind of want to do it. Like there's a part of me that wants to do it and make fun of him, but I'm scared that like, I'm going to go do it with him and then he's going to edit it and like chop it up and like whatever. And then it's like, I look like I like him and I just, don't. I can't even imagine what would go down if she really had showed up at the RV, but I think everyone agrees that it is for the best that she chose to not go and film with him. It just really seemed like a content trap and with the way that people haven't loved Austin lately, with how ridiculous he's been with his content, I think Tana just avoided some major drama by rejecting this offer. Now, some drama she hasn't been able to avoid is with a TikToker who was confused by recent comments Tana made during a recent episode. When Tana and Brooke sat down with Trevor Wallace recently, he brought up hate watching and Tana admitted that she loves to hate watch people and talked about how there's one person in particular that she likes to hate watch. I love to hate watch. I say this all the time. My, it's my, my favorite main hate watching person. things, like I follow, I follow them. Well, that's what happens. It eventually just becomes a part of your life. You're eventually like, this is stupid. This is stupid. I kind of want that. Yeah. I hate watch this poor girl on YouTube just till the cows come home every week and now my whole recommended is Me just too. that all uh, okay, I want to know who You have a certain person? Yeah. Can we say it? We can bleep it? Yes. Yeah, we can. She's we sitting can right it. here. Can. You can say no. it. No. Yeah. Um, it's this girl, but she's so sweet and she means well. I think there's so many people worse than her, for sure. Who's I your agree, hate watch? And TikToker Tara's World, who used to hang out with Tana and her friends, seemed to talk about this episode of Cancelled and felt as though she was the one Tana was talking about. I a podcast yesterday and the hosts were talking about who they hate watch on YouTube. And one of the girls said who she hate watches on YouTube and she bleeped it out. And I'm convinced, like fully convinced that she said me. So now I feel insecure filming, even though I don't, I don't know if it's me. I think it's, I think she said me. I think she said she hate watches me on YouTube and I texted Jordy and I was like, dude, watch this. Like, I know she said me and he was like, Tara, I don't think she did, but now I feel insecure because she prefaced that like, oh, she's like sweet and she means well, but and then like I'm sweet and I mean well, but whenever I talk, I'm like cringy. Do you think she was talking about me? I don't know. Here's what I'm thinking. Hear me out. Tana admitted to Trisha back in October that she used to not like Tara at one point because she was being managed by her old manager, Jordan, who was calling her this new version of Tana. But after that, she said they ended up meeting in person and she liked her. When I probably was with my old manager. Um, there were rumors going around that he was managing this girl. And I'd heard through the grapevine. And I don't know if he said this. And we're so cool now. So I'm not like coming at him at all but I had, he started managing this girl who was coming up on TikTok and I had heard through the grapevine that he was calling her new Tana and oh. I remember and it was like it hurt so much because it was like someone that was so close to me saying that right and it made me just harbor this like horribly intense negative feeling towards like towards all her. of that and then I and, and not, yeah. even, not even just towards her yeah. towards the whole situation but like in a way yes like I'd see her videos and it's like at one point I loved her content but I would like want to skip it because yeah. it was like I the feeling towards that. And then eventually I got to know her and she was amazing. And, it, you know, now it's like we both just have our own careers and we slay and yeah. like whatever. And it, but it's just so funny how much shit like that can get in your head. Oh, yeah. I, I think I had you muted for like a long time because I was just like, oh, my God, you're doing like everything. <laughs> And that was back in November, so I don't really know if in the last couple of months Tana's decided that she wants to hate watch Tara because she was talking pretty nicely about her with Trisha. And earlier last year when Tara had gone on Plan Brie, she talked about not being as close with Tana anymore, but still friendly, so it didn't seem like there was any bad blood. Well, Tana released her OnlyFans at some point, and I was like, oh, I want to do that. Mm -hmm. So she kind of like... Are you guys still friends? Yeah, I want to talk sometimes. If I see her out, like we talk, but we're yeah. not like... You guys were close for a while though, weren't you? Yeah, I was close with like her friend group. Okay. But falling out? No falling out. No. We just don't really. They were more like like party friends. I just like I just don't really have that many like close friends. That's fair. Cuz I need to like be plastered to like yeah. hang out with people cuz I'm so anxious. But still Tara felt as though she was the one that Tana was talking about on her podcast which is certainly awkward, especially if they ever are seen at the same event or something in the future. But hopefully 
that's not who she was talking about, especially if they do see each other. I don't know, you guys, but that is what has been going on with Tana recently from Austin trying to reach out and seemingly want to talk it out, following their beef to Tara feeling like Tana has been hate watching her. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.